In the words of the late Keith Jackson, whoa, Nelly, what a sight to see in Chapel Hill. A dream come true for dedicated Tar Heel fans and sneakerheads as people lined up for an event we haven't seen in years at the Dean Smith Center. And we're talking about the highly anticipated Tar Heel yard sale. UNC's athletic department hosted the event for the first time in seven years, giving fans a chance to buy sports gear featuring their favorite team. CBS 17's Haley Fixler was there. You could see the line from the street. And there were like a hundred and some people here at 3 a.m. Thousands of UNC fans standing patiently in the dark Saturday morning for their chance to score some serious Tar Heel sporting gear. We have over 20,000 items in there. We probably have over 700 pairs of Jordans. The athletics department last hosted their yard sales seven years ago, and now they needed an excuse to clear out inventory once again. What's the old saying? One man's uh, junk is another man's treasure. And it's a treasure many felt was worth waiting a long, long time for. I got here at 11.30 last night after the baseball game. Hunter Oakley stands by the motto, early bird gets the worm. He camped out overnight just to secure his number one spot. I, I tried to sleep. It's not really comfortable. My time was worth it. Oakley brought along some close friends and family. I left my tie here who shared one shopping trip goal. Some Jordans. I'll go into them. Hundreds and hundreds of people behind Oakley. We found dedicated Tar Heel fans who got to campus before sunrise. I thought it might be a lot of people, but even a, a lot of people, I, this is way more than you can expect. <laughs> this is way more. Bill Hadaway even made the drive from Baltimore, Maryland. Five and a half hours. It's a trip well worth it. UNC officials were only letting 50 people inside the Dean Smith Center at a time, and many people in the middle and back of the line knew they might not be successful. We'll see about the Jordans. But nothing could squash their school spirit. Even if I don't get anything today, like I just, I got this experience for the rest of my life. In Chapel Hill, Haley Fixler, CBS 17 News. All right, now here's some perspective <laughs> on just how intense the line was this morning. We actually spotted one of our producers in line. She got there at about 6 o'clock in the morning, but she didn't get inside until after 10.15.